Dude, I installed Oxygen OS today and even rooted it. This just straight up sucks. Hi folks, I'm Soha on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I know a lot of you requested for this, the Oxygen OS. It's finally here. This is Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install it, root it, and give you a quick tour of the new Oxygen OS. Let's go ahead and do this, baby. All right, uh, before you can install Oxygen OS on your OnePlus One, um, you do have to have your phone rooted. Uh, I have a complete tutorial guide for Windows, Mac, Linux. So go ahead and follow that guide and that will help you uh, root your phone and also install Twerp Recovery, which is required to install this. Once you have done that, go ahead and download the latest version of Oxygen OS. Uh, and uh, once you have downloaded it, you should have Oxygen underscore 1.0.0 underscore flashable dot zip. All right, if it's a newer version, it might say newer, but make sure you get the flashable.zip. Um, you can download it from my site, or if you download from oneplus.net, make sure you unzip it. You can use ES File Explorer app to unzip the existing zip file and you'll get oxygen underscore blah blah flashable.zip. All right, once you have all these, you're gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery. Uh, you can go ahead and use Quick Boot. Uh, or you can go ahead and do it manually. I'll show you how to do it manually. All right, once your phone has power down, go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button, all right? Volume down and the power button. Hold them until you see the logo. Let go of both buttons. This will enter you into twerp recovery. All right, give it a second here. And boom shakalaka. Uh, you should see twerp recovery page here. Now you're gonna have to wipe uh, everything to install Oxygen OS, even if you're on stock CM 11S. Um, so one way to keep all of your data, all of your stuff uh, without losing uh, is backing up. So go ahead and hit backup and choose boot system data. Uh, you don't really need cache. And swipe to backup. This will back up your current ROM, whatever you have in there, all of your SMS, text messages, apps, apps data. Uh, it won't back up your personal files such as videos and stuff in your internal storage. That stuff will be there. All right. Later on, if you don't like Oxygen OS, you can go ahead and reboot into recovery, hit restore, and choose your backup to restore. And that will restore you back, completely back uh, to whatever. Uh, you had on there. It's sort of like Time Machine or something, I think, for uh, Windows. Uh, basically, you know, you can restore everything. So do that first before uh, going. And next, we're going to go ahead and wipe. So go ahead and wipe. And go to Advanced Wipe. Uh, this is the preferred method because of the regular wipe method. It might put you into a boot loop. So the best way to do is go here, um, choose all the cache system data, cache, do not choose internal storage, that will wipe out your internal storage. Do that and swipe to wipe. This is the fail method, a fail proof method of installing any custom ROM. And go ahead and hit home, install, go to your download folder. I'm already in my download folder. Go ahead and choose oxygen blah blah flashable.zip. Swipe to flash. And that's pretty much it. And uh, once you reboot, you should be on Oxygen OS. All right, and I'll go ahead and fast forward this. Yeah, maybe I'll just keep the camera rolling. Um, so what's going on with uh, me uh, is that uh, I've been basically um, trying hard to push out a lot of videos, uh, kind of refocusing on all the Androids. I don't know if you've been following me for a while. I really got lost with uh, Bitcoins last year. For like six months, all I did was build rigs, literally. And uh, Bitcoin went down a lot and I lost a lot of money. Um, I'm still in debt from that, so I'm still recovering, but uh, I'm doing okay finally. Uh, just kind of, I started focusing back on Android maybe like last June. And then, I don't know, it's, it's just hard. You know, when you stop for a while, it's just hard to get that going. So. Uh, just recently, I got my energy back to make more than like one video per day. Before, I couldn't even make more than one video per day. You lose your um, touch sometimes and then I'm so glad I have it back now. Um, so that is why I'm uploading a lot of videos. And I feel good, you know, this is what I love to do. But uh, it does, I mean, sometimes I can uh, burn myself out. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll just take some days off and get high on something else. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I feel really good. I've been just pushing out videos and uh, I'm just going to focus on what I do good, which is the realms. Uh, reviews, I guess, you know, there's so much competition. Uh, you know, I want to be the best reviewer, but obviously no matter how hard I, how hard, how, how hard I try, it's, it's like really hard to get there. But you know, eventually maybe I'll be one of the best reviewers. Um, but um, I'm trying to just, just make more videos that no one else has because what's the point of watching the same review? You look at the top three reviews and a lot of them like really similar. All right, there we go. Anyway, uh, enough blabbing, it is done. Review, uh, re reboot, uh, it says not root it. Uh, well, you know what, it's, there's a better way Ah, shoot. Do not install. There's a better way. Just flash the latest version of Super SU. Um, and then you'll have root. I'm not sure if Oxygen OS comes with root. I guess it doesn't since that tells us. But we'll go check it out here a bit. So that's it. And that's how to install the Oxygen OS. And then we'll wait for it to boot. And I'll show you how long it takes to boot so you know. Um, that way you can follow along and if it doesn't boot at the same time then that means you're in a boot loop but it's they should actually boot at the exact same time if you have a one plus one uh, and boom shock lock that took us what one minute wow that booted up faster than my brand new HCC one M9 that's amazing um, so there you have it once you see this screen you should be good to go but I will wait because sometimes even this upgrades, you can get a, a lot of force closes uh, and whatnot. If that does happen to you or you end up in a boot loop, just repeat the exact same process uh, and uh, two or three more times, it will boot eventually. But it should boot the first time. This is really the fail proof method. A lot of people forget to format system. And if you don't do that, you'll, you'll definitely end up in a boot loop uh, every like one out of five times. That's because when you install new ROMs, um, you know, you're installing different files to the system partition and uh, what happens is it eventually gets corrupted and you know, when it gets corrupted, that's when you get a boot loop and no matter how many times you do a factory reset, it won't boot. But if you format system, it boots right away. So that is the secret and uh, that's actually the trend now. Everyone's now doing that. Um, but uh, I, I figured that out by the way. <laughs> I am dead serious. I started doing it and everyone else started making tutorials out of that thing in there. Um, but uh, I started formatting system and I got every ROM to boot, like every custom ROM I've installed. This especially happens with AOSP ROMs. It doesn't really happen with uh, TouchWiz ROMs on Samsung devices. Uh, well, but it's just a good practice. Most ROMs actually format system, um, but some don't. And that's where you get into trouble. There you go, boom shakalaka. And let's go ahead and go through here. If you get through all of this, the beginning, sometimes what happens is you get everything right and then it fails. It force closes at the end of this Google services thing. That is the worst. All right, software buttons. All right, a eh, bunch of stuff, the setup. All right, you mess with the setup, uh, but there you have it. If you don't get any errors, you got to this point. Congratulations. All right, guys, while we're at it, let me give you a quick tour of, of the Oxygen OS. Uh, it is actually pretty lame. I mean, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Uh, probably because I've flashed many much better Android 5.1 ROMs already. First of all, it's not even Android 5.1, it's only 5.0.2. And I guess I'll show you the cool stuff first. I mean, the cool stuff is that one of the major features is that you can actually customize this by drag and dropping. I guess that's really cool, but most custom ROMs ROMs will allow you to customize even more. I mean, they have those fast uh, where you can go ahead and swipe on the left or right. Oh, actually, that, that, that does work on here. Uh, anyway, but I'm just saying, I mean, gestures, you do have gestures. You have four extra gestures. Other than that, that's that's pretty much it. There's not even themes from Sanders and Mod, which sort of sucks. So you, you'll lose the theme. All right, so here's the worst part about Oxygen OS ROM. I hate to be depressing, but... Uh, it sucks. All right. Uh, resolution and quality. You'll see back camera. 
Now you lose 4K. Now, most of the Android 5L1 ROMs now support, or well, all Lollipop ROMs, custom ROMs, support uh, 4K video recording. So you lose all of that. I mean, I guess this is just the first version, uh, but uh, as you know, looking at it from the view of a Flashaholic and flashing a bunch of different ROMs already, I mean, this is nothing compared to what's out there on XDA forms. Go look there, I mean, there's thousands of ROMs. So um, I, I will show you how to root it, but uh, for right now, I'm very disappointed. I'm gonna go straight back to a custom ROM. Also, I'll have another ROM that you can install that's better than Oxygen ROM. I'm just gonna show you that uh, this is like the thing and it sucks, dude. Like, why would you wanna install this? It's not even ready yet, I'm just saying. All right, go ahead and download the latest version of uh, the Super SU. I'll have it in my site. Just go ahead and download it. Um, go ahead and download it to your phone and it should be update super SUV 2.37.zip. If you have that or higher already, then you don't have to download it. All right, to root this device, simply flash it in Tor. All right, turn your phone off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down and power. All right, and let go of all the buttons. And once you're in Twerp, go ahead and flash the Super SU zip file, and that will pretty much root your phone. And uh, a lot of you uh, probably running 5.1 already. Chroma ROM is really good, Android 5.1, uh, but I'll have another combo. Also, you can get overclocking. I mean, if you've rooted your phone to install Oxygen OS, you might as well go all the way and install the good stuff. Uh, go ahead and install update Super SU. Flash the file, a pretty much done reboot system, and boom shakalaka, you have Oxygen OS version 1.0 that doesn't have 4K camera, that doesn't have the One Plus One theme. You can actually get the One Plus One theme and the One Plus One camera um, with a custom ROM. I'll actually have that that uh, method, that video next later today. I'll find you a great kernel combo with overclocking, One Plus One theme. A one plus one camera. This one doesn't even have one plus one camera. Um, you don't even have themes. Once you reboot it, uh, you will find Super SU. Go ahead and run it once. Make sure everything is okay. If you don't get any errors, you're good to go. Uh, if it uh, asks you to update binary binaries, um, say yes and choose normal. Other than that, you have a fully rooted Oxygen OS. I don't know why in the hell you want to use this. Uh, if it was stock, then I guess you would want to use it. But since you have to root it and install this ROM, there's like a hundred better ROMs than this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be very disappointing to you guys, but I'm just telling you um, because I flash a lot of ROMs, this one sucks. That's what it is. It does not do a lot of things it's supposed to do. You lose your 4K, the one plus one theme, one plus one camera. Um, worst of all, you even lose the awesome audio FX app, uh, which is I guess now part of Sinogen mod. Uh, maybe the fallout between Sinogen mod and one plus one uh, made it so they can't use Sinogen mod stuff on their new Oxygen. And ROM, which I guess sucks. Anyway, that was how to install it. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I disappointed some of you guys, but uh, you know, you can install it if you still want to try it. <laughs> and thanks for watching this video. As you can see, the Oxygen OS doesn't live up to the hype. I'll have another video of a ROM that's worth installing. Uh, and as always, have a great day, guys. Don't drive too fast. And remember, it ain't illegal until you get caught. All right, I, I don't know why I said that. But anyway, have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. As always, I'll stay on Android.